By about six months, most babies' attachment to their primary attachment figure is obvious. But we need to look at which experiences most influence a baby's choice of who that special person will be. Although there are many contributing factors, two types of experience most often matter. First, who's most patient and responds when the baby cries? Alan Strofe has made a lifetime study of how parents respond to their babies. All infants need is for care to be mostly responsive and mostly reliable. They need you to be mostly understanding of them and mostly patient. They don't need you to be always patient, always understanding, always reliable. Second, who most often comes to play with the baby and enjoys their company? Alan Shaw spent 30 years studying the neuroscience of attachment. Most of the studies that have come out of animals have focused on anxiety as being the key affect. The problem is that with human beings in the first year of life, joy is much more the key to the attachment. So essentially what the attachment relationship is an interactive mechanism for generating very high levels of positive affect. And the positive affect, this goes to the work of Tompkins, etc., is enjoyment, joy, and interest excitement. During the early months, most babies learn to distinguish between the people they meet and increasingly show different reactions to specific people and by six to nine months they can get very upset if a stranger tries to pick them up. This is stranger anxiety and although most adults have lost their fear of strangers, babies and toddlers have not. Another situation that increases babies' anxiety is being in an unfamiliar place. Babies and toddlers can feel safe in this situation when they're with their primary attachment figure and to a lesser extent with a secondary attachment figure but they'll usually feel afraid if they can't find any attachment figure. Typically they feel lost when they're alone, and the distress gets worse every minute they're separated. This is separation anxiety and it's very frightening. I can remember getting lost when I was young. I was in a large store and I couldn't find my mother. Not everyone has these memories, but many can remember how terrifying this feels. And when my children were young, I can remember a visit to the zoo and the sudden shock of realising that one of our children was missing. Whether it's the terrified child searching for the parents or the shocked parent searching for the child, the only way to stop the desperate feelings of separation is for the parents and child to be reunited. Attachment bonds are powerful responses that drive parents and children back together again and they've been helping humans to survive through millions of years of evolution. In the early years foundation stage, in the statutory guidance to which providers must have regard, quote, the key person should help the baby or child to become familiar with the provision and to feel confident and safe within it developing a genuine bond with the child and the child's parents and offering a settled, close relationship." End of quote. From between 12 and 20 months, researchers use the strange situation procedure to observe a genuine bond and a settled, close relationship, which is secure attachment, by taking a systematic look at a situation that might occur for any toddler. The toddler is left with a friendly stranger, without an attachment figure, for just a minute or so in an unfamiliar room with lots of toys. This situation is designed to trigger all three anxieties – separation, strangers and unfamiliar places – and it briefly stresses the toddler. When the toddler is reunited with the attachment figure and the stranger leaves the room, the researchers record how quickly the toddler is calmed by the attachment figure and how rapidly the toddler starts to explore the toys. Researchers usually find that on average 55-60% to 60 of toddlers in the UK are securely attached and 40-45% to 45 are to some degree insecurely attached. 
The quality of a toddler's attachment will depend on whether or not their attachment figure can form a secure relationship with the toddler. Therefore a toddler may form a secure attachment to one of their attachment figures, but an insecure attachment to another. In daycare, the security of a toddler's attachment will depend on their key person's ability to tune into the toddler's emotional needs and form a genuine bond and a settled close relationship. Securely attached toddlers tend to have a basic trust that their attachment figure will be physically and emotionally available when they are distressed. They feel free to express the full range of their feelings to the attachment figure, including anger. And when they are left in the strange situation, most will start to cry and search for their attachment figure. And when they are reunited, the toddler quickly stops crying and starts to explore the toys. Insecurely attached toddlers don't have the same trust and they develop strategies to manage some of their painful feelings. There are three main types of strategies that insecurely attached toddlers use and these are demonstrated by their behaviour in the strange situation when they are reunited with their attachment figure. One insecure group is avoidantly attached, usually about 20-25% to of toddlers in the UK. They are eager to explore the toys and don't show much separation anxiety when they are left with a stranger. But when their attachment figure returns, they tend to stay focused on the toys and avoid being comforted. Another insecure group is ambivalently attached, usually about 10% of toddlers. They are often distressed when they enter the room and don't play with the toys. They show a lot of separation anxiety when they are left with a stranger and can't stop crying even when their attachment figure returns. Sometimes they have a tantrum or they seek comfort and then reject it. The third insecure group are disorganised in their attachment, usually about 10-15% to of toddlers. They show a mixture of avoidant, ambivalent and secure behaviours with no coherent pattern. They may seem dazed, confused or frightened and show incomplete or contradictory behaviours and sometimes they are motionless and freeze. The quality of the attachment to the primary attachment figure is likely to have the greatest influence on a toddler's well-being and if the relationship continues the way it started, the attachment classification tends to remain the same. But if the relationship changes, then the classification can change as well. I have only given the briefest outline of this subject and the researchers are very carefully trained to assess the classifications correctly and reliably.